class. And we'll begin before the beginning with our summer reading, Raising the Sun. Ma is discussing her family's financial situation with Grandma over breakfast. Grandma. Yes. We so hope. Our family is be so great. We so glad. I wish we had some more money. That way we could afford not to suck so much. We're so per persecuted at this particular point in American history. I hope there's a lot of boring, whiny literature that comes out of this time period. <laughs> I'm from Africa. You are all my tribe. Check out my big spear. Mm -hmm. I hear drums drumming in my mind. <laughs> They're telling me to start my own drugstore. You're so crazy. I have money! Actually, I was conned out of all your money. We're all so black, persecuted, and poor. You can come in. <laughs> okay, moving along, we will proceed to Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. And I'll hold out what else? A poor farmhand and his retarded friend who has a weird thing, petting things. I'll be playing the part of George, the slightly less retarded farmer. Mm, uh, can't believe you killed that poor girl just because she had a soft hair. You're such a tar bagger. <laughs> Ivory. 
the fate of nature, man's and God symbolized by the fossil ivory. For the simple fact that the elements also need it to live. <laughs> I find ivory a whole 300 page book about ivory. Now, we're going to take a short moment here to remember all the novels that were read outside of class for our independent reading assignment over Christmas break. Alex, if you will. Treasure Island, Don Quixote, Animal Farm, Lord of Flies, Love of the Color Purple, Lisa Bean, The Color Purple, Sierra de Bergerac, The Red Badge of Courage, Death Comes to the Archbishop, The Bell Jar, Scarlet Letter, 1984, Animal Farm, Animal Farm, Brave New World, Portrait of a Baby, Sound of Fury, Animal Farm. Four Animal Farms? <laughs> Inconceivable! <laughs> You're saying that word. You do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> Excellent. And that is all, really all the discussion those books deserve. <laughs> favorite in-class novel, The Grapes of Wrath. Now next year. As we all know, oh, Wrath was written by the late, great, inadequate, long-winded, and generally unrasking John Steinberg. Oh. The book begins with a 75-page description of the setting, <laughs> the, the Great Depression. Just as we meet what disappointingly, what disappointingly turns out to be the main character, Tom Jude, we, um... Turtle. Turtle.